In this video, I'm going to show you how movement can help you hear better in dynamic listening environments. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Some hearing aids have advanced to the point where they can process over 550 million operations per second. In fact, every time that hearing aid manufacturers release new hearing aid technology, I always question how it's possible to improve on the technology that came before it. Now I know that this is how technology works. As soon as a new hearing aid is released, engineers are already hard at work trying to develop new features that they are going to be rolling out in their next generation of devices. But with hearing aids working as well as they currently do, what could their possibly be left to improve upon? Well, the answer to this may lie in how well a hearing aid can process sound when there's body movement involved. For instance, when you're sitting down at a table talking to someone, your listening needs are completely different than if you're up and walking around. Typically when you're sitting down, you're trying to focus on the speech of the person who's right in front of you. However, if you're up walking around, you typically aren't always facing the person that you're trying to hear, and if there are environmental sounds around you, you want to be aware of those as well. The problem is, hearing aids typically only utilize acoustic information from your surrounding environment to determine how to orient your directional microphones and enable digital noise reduction features. They do this to maximize your signal to noise ratio, basically meaning emphasizing speech and reducing background noise. Having access to only acoustic information in order to determine how to apply these settings could put you at a disadvantage if there's movement involved. Fortunately, Phonak, today's video sponsor, has now incorporated motion sensors inside of the rechargeable Adeo Paradise hearing aids in order to identify your body movement. Not only does the motion sensor allow for one of the coolest hearing aid features that I have seen in a long time called tap control, which I do have a video about that I will link in the description, but it also works behind the scenes to help you hear better when there's movement involved. Let me give you an example of how this works. Imagine that you're in a noisy restaurant sitting at a table with a friend of yours. Because it's noisy and because you're not moving around a lot because you're sitting at a table, your hearing aids have identified that they need to orient the microphones directly towards your friend and enable noise reduction features to try to reduce the amount of background noise next to you and behind you. Enter the motion sensor. The reason the motion sensor is so great is because it's constantly working behind the scenes in order to determine the directional pickup of the microphones on your hearing aids. When the motion sensors identify that you're sitting at a table, it tells the hearing aids to orient the microphones forward towards your friend using narrow directional beamforming technology so you can primarily understand your friend when they talk. However, when you stand up to leave that table, the motion sensors can identify that you're moving, so it tells the hearing aids to start picking up sounds from around you. So if you're walking next to your friend, you can still hear them and understand them without looking at them. The same type of thing can happen when you're walking on a sidewalk along a busy street. Because there's so much background noise, normally your hearing aids would go into a directional microphone mode, picking up sounds primarily in front of you. This will reduce your awareness of sounds around you, which can not only be inconvenient, it can also be dangerous. In this situation, even though it's noisy, motion sensors can tell your hearing aids that you're on the move, so they keep the hearing aid microphones open and active so you have better situational awareness. If you happen to stop at a crosswalk and face your friend to have a conversation, the hearing aids will once again be able to go into directional pickup mode so you can focus primarily on their voice and not all of these other sounds around you. The fact that you do not have to manually manipulate the programming of your hearing aids because the motion sensors do it for you makes your listening experience very seamless. Not only do the motion sensors help you hear better in these situations that involve movement, they can actually help you localize sound better as well. Localization is basically your brain's ability to identify which direction sound is coming from, and it requires time and intensity differences of sound between your ears for it to function properly. By allowing your hearing aids to pick up sounds from all different directions while you're on the move, the motion sensors can better maintain these time and intensity differences between your ears to allow you to have better localization ability. Now all this talk about how motion sensors work and how beneficial they are is great, but do motion sensors actually lead to better user satisfaction? 
Well, according to a study from the University of Toronto, researchers identified that nearly three quarters of their test subjects preferred their ability to understand speech with motion sensors active. Not only did they prefer speech with motion sensors active, they also showed a strong preference for environmental awareness in their ability to localize where a sound was coming from when the motion sensors were active as well. Nearly three quarters of users also rated their overall listening experience to be better with motion sensors on versus off. This means that not only do motion sensors make sense in theory, they actually result in a higher level of performance than the same devices without active motion sensors. At the end of the day, it would appear as though one of the answers to the question, what could they possibly do to improve modern hearing aid technology, would apparently be putting motion sensors inside of the hearing aids in order for them to be able to identify your body movement. And the best part is you don't even have to do anything. The motion sensors are always working behind the scenes inside of the hearing aids, so you can focus on living in the moment instead of adjusting your hearing aids. So if you're the type of person who likes to move around a lot and you want to be able to hear, you may want to consider a set of hearing aids that has motion sensors that can help you out. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.